Good afternoon. I'm here with some more of my Rolodex cards to decorate. I already started gluing on one because I started the video and then I heard thumping around and scared me because I thought I was the only one home and my husband got here earlier than I thought he would, so I stopped it, so I'll have to start over. So this yarn here is scrubby yarn that I got at Walmart. It's for making dishcloths, but I love the colors on it, so I am going to use some of it for my cards here, or at least one. So I already put glue on here. Like I said, I was kind of freaked me out. I'm like, oh no, I thought I was the only one here. Ink this a little bit. I might ink that too. I had my cart right next to me, but then when I got up to see who was here, I had rolled it away. We still have our little critter here. I called the zoo yesterday. They said they were not in need of possums. So my husband and daughter were going to let it loose. Well, the zoo gave me the name of a lady who is a what they call it, licensed rehabilitator. And I have called several times and I cannot reach her, so I wonder if she's on vacation or something. So my husband and daughter went to let it loose last night, but they just said it was too dark when they went out and they couldn't see exactly what they were doing. He's got to watch for rattlesnakes around here, so I think they figured they'd wait until it was not quite that dark. Didn't want to have any surprises. So, if I can't reach that lady today, then tonight that little possum is going to be out on its own. I'm just afraid the longer it's in that box, it's going to not survive. Hopefully it's old enough to survive on its own, but I know it can't survive long in that box. It's got food, water, and shelter and stuff, but it can't just stay there. Ah. Here I thought I'd get all my filming done while everybody was gone. That didn't happen. I don't know what that was. I don't know if you could hear that big crash, but something crashed. Don't know what my husband's doing. There, I think I'll leave that one like that. Thought I'd do a couple with clocks. I hadn't I don't I think I've made anything with clocks before. Look at this, I got a big splotch on it, so I thought I'd decorate it to cover it. I'm making a bunch of these to sell, but this morning something fell in my um, coffee water in the kitchen, and it splattered all over some of them, so, so I thought, well, I can use them and cover them up. Nobody will know, except you, of course, who are watching. I've been making a bunch to put in my Etsy shop, and a couple of the sets have sold. I need to get those ready today to go out. Get those out Monday, but if I can get all the packaging done. I was excited to see someone already was buying some of these. Because I just love how they turned out, so hopefully others will try it. A lot of times I send out samples of new things that I have. So some of my other orders, maybe I'll add a couple of these in there so people can see them and maybe if they like them, they will get some too. I don't know if that needs a bow also. Let me see. Or if that is enough, that might be enough. Let me put a bow up there and see what I think. 
Uh oh, knocked some stuff down. And I haven't gone outside and tried to chase the birds away yet with my tin pans because we've gotten this. We were supposed to get a storm the other night, and the birds weren't so noisy after that. We didn't get the storm, but we had a lot of lightning and thunder and strong wind. And I thought, well, maybe it chased them away, but I hear them out there, so I guess I will have to get my tin pans out there and see if I can scare them away. For anybody who didn't see the last video, we have hundreds of birds that have taken over our trees. And I like birds, but not that many at one time. Yeah, I like that. My little bottle of glue, I don't know what the deal is. I had I don't know if this glue gets like thicker after a while once it's open because I can't get the glue to come out. I've poked a pin through the opening and that the glue comes out and it goes all the way through. But I don't know why the glue's not coming out, so I have to use this one. It makes it a little globbier because it lets out a little bit more, but there, oh I like that one. You like that. Okay, set that one aside. It's two down. Ah. This morning I'd gone on the internet and went to the graphics ferry and printed out a bunch of images and things to see if I could use some on my cards here. And I didn't have any coffee dried cardstock, so I hurried up and made some. And I put some in the oven. <sighs> Forgot about them. And all of a sudden, I'm doing stuff, and I thought, "Man, something is burning. What is on?" And I realized it was my papers. Fortunately, I caught them before they actually caught on fire. But it was awful close. So this picture came from there, and the clocks clock pictures came from the graphics fairy also. She has such pretty images on there. Keep forgetting to bring buttons in here. I keep putting the flat back pearls on here, which I like, but I also like buttons. And I keep forgetting to put some in here when I'm working. My daughter told me she had seen a media lamp at Walmart and thought I should get one to see if it works to where I could actually film down in my craft room. Then I would have more things handy. Oh, that one's nice too. Of course, I just like them all. I'll start another one. In the last video I talked about our trip to the Black Hills and that we went to different shops and candy shops and things. One of the things they have a lot of up there is huckleberry flavored things and I was not familiar with huckleberry. I looked it up and they don't, it doesn't grow in South Dakota. It grows in Montana, Idaho, is it Washington, and Oregon? I might be wrong on all that but Oh my goodness, that is a yummy flavor. We had huckleberry ice cream and huckleberry fudge and my husband bought huckleberry coffee. They have huckleberry popcorn. I bought some huckleberry um, 
lemonade. But I was disappointed on that. I couldn't taste the flavor of it very good. You could taste that there was something different than just lemonade. But I couldn't taste the huckleberry flavor. It was still good. But I was a little disappointed in that one. But oh my goodness, they have huckleberry everything. And it is so good. Love the flavor. I don't know if they have it so much there just because being closer to Montana and stuff. I don't know. There's another one that got splattered on this morning. So I will just cover that up. I know it makes it look a little more vintage, but I just never know when I'm selling things in my shop if people want things that look a little more grungy or not. It's hard to know. Everybody's tastes are different. And so sometimes I hesitate putting things in that have too much grungy look. Because I could put it in there and then specifically say it's more of a grunge look. I don't know. Let's put a flower on this one. I need to make more of my flowers. My sets are... I think I sold every set that I had together. So I need to make some more of these. And I'm going to put a bow up there. Didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I was busy looking things up on the graphics ferry. And I was so busy I didn't even eat. So I guess today I'll just have lunch. There. Oh, these are turning out so cute. Let's see another one. I don't know if I brought enough back here to work on it. Might be a shorter video today. Where's my glue? There's my glue. See, there's another one that's got a splotch on it, so I gotta put my lace high enough to cover that. And these are some of the really pretty designed ones too, with that ripple and the two different designs on of the tablecloth. I was bummed that they got ruined. Well, not ruined, ruined, but not sellable, I guess. Because I only have two pieces of lace, of tablecloth, that have that design in it. So I can't make them very quickly. I was hoping to get some coffee dyeing done outside today, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Yesterday was way too windy. I didn't get any done yesterday. And I can't do the lace ones in the oven because it melts my lace. I tried that. It did not work. Okay, what am I putting on here? Word. My youngest daughter called me. She went and got her first pedicure today. She wasn't too sure about it, but she said it was, I mean, beforehand, she wasn't too sure if she was going to like someone messing with her feet, but she called me and said it was really, really relaxing and felt good, so I'm glad that worked out. I have never had a pedicure. I just don't know if I could handle people messing with my feet or not. Oh, got glue. So I like that little one. I hope I can get that figured out why that glue's not coming out of there. I'm going to switch glues. Use this one. Don't use this one very much because I can't find it. I haven't. I guess I haven't searched a lot online. I they carry it at Walmart and they've been out for a long time. So I went to Walmart.com. They only had one of these left. So I ordered it. There's still glue showing there.
Okay. Oh, it needs something. It's still not enough. A feather? Oh, that's kind of cute. Feather and a bow. Maybe not that bow. Maybe that. Or is that too much all the same? I don't know. Sometimes I have a hard time deciding. contrast there. I'll go ahead and use the brown one. I will stick this down. I like feathers, but I have a hard time finding ones that are like browns and tans and stuff. Because I don't want them too white white. So I tried coffee dyeing this and it kind of worked a little bit, but not the greatest. My hands are quarter bowl with the coffee dyeing. And I need to cut my fingernails because I can do violin fairly well with them a little bit longer, but I cannot do guitar. And if I tell my students that they have to have long, short nails, not long, then the teacher almost needs to have short nails too. get that loop to lay right. Stay there. And we'll put a pearl there. That feather's just getting in the way. <laughs> I have a pin here somewhere. Let's try and pull that loop. put a little glue there so it doesn't curl. I don't know if that glue is going to hold that. This embroidery thread has a natural curving it from where it's curved when they roll it up, you know? And then sometimes they don't want to lay flat. That's better. If I work with it a little bit more, maybe I'll be okay. Let me cut this, and that is all the cards I have with me in here. I didn't bring any more cards, or I could have decorated some more. <laughs> That's kind of funny with the fur, with the fuzzy feather, but I think it's kind of cute. Okay, let's lay out here what I got done. Get stuff out of the way. Then I'll have to take pictures and post them on Instagram. That one, so one, two, three, four. Five 
and six. Thank you for watching and have a great day today. Bye.